I think the ironic part of the project being called Impossible Walls is that it has opened so many doors to so many possibilities. For me, a couple years ago, all of this would have been a dream. South by Southwest is mainly a music festival, but it's also grown to include film, interactive, tech. Recently, the Impossible Walls project now brings the large-scale arts. The Impossible Walls project was put together between Powwow Worldwide, Spray TX, and South by Southwest. The idea was to create a bunch of murals in Austin, Texas during the South by Southwest festival. We're coming in on a totally different level, mainly to do community beautification projects. We've always tried to push the collaborative side of Powwow since the early ones, and it happened with Buffy and two of our Powwow directors, Kamea Hadar and Jeffrey Grass. They painted a mural together on Cesar Chavez in East Austin. It was a way of trying to get them to do what they do best. It's only a matter of time before we see a lot of amazing artists coming out of there, amazing artists moving to Austin to be a part of that scene. We're just hoping to help plant some of those seeds for the future. I think the Impossible War Project is pretty awesome. I think that it challenges artists to do stuff that's bigger than what they're used to. What I love most about public art is the interaction with the public. I like its accessibility to everybody and anybody, regardless of class, gender, race. Anybody can enjoy your piece. They don't have to go to a museum. You know, they don't have to be invited to a special party or anything like that. They can enjoy it at their leisure. I believe the public art that we bring is just as much a legitimate experience as going to see your favorite band. You're seeing the artist's emotions, you're seeing and feeling what the artists are doing at that time. I feel like it brings a whole nother flavor to South By. Power Up Worldwide is creating this larger sort of family that spans the globe. And South by Southwest is another way to sort of bring everyone together. You know, it's like these reunions that we have all over the place. And it's always nice to get together, hang out and, and create art. The art scene in Austin is pretty exciting because it is just now kind of blooming. So there's starting to be a lot more street art, a lot more mural art. I think it's really exciting that people like the Impossible Walls Project are coming to Austin. I'm excited to see how the art culture changes in Austin over the years. 